functional genomics and proteomics. In molecular biology, this activity, it mainly deals to study the functions of different genes that are expressed from one tissue to another tissue or within a single cell. So, overall, we can say that it is mainly related to study the uh, expression profile of different genes that which gene it is expressing at a particular time period and in uh, which tissue. So overall it mainly deals uh, with gene to gene interaction and their functions. So different techniques have been employed to study uh, the functions of genes and uh, one of the most extensively a study technique that is currently in use, it is the DNA microarrays. DNA microarray is a technique that allows us to study the expression of thousands of genes simultaneously. And here, the basic protocol of northern blotting, it is used. If you remember, we studied different blotting techniques that can be used to study uh, for the detection uh, of uh, uh, DNA molecules or RNA molecules like the southern blotting or northern blotting. Northern blotting, it is mainly preferred for the detection of RNA uh, molecules. Just like I have told you that DNA microarrays ka jo principle hai, more or less the same as we used in previously use karte rahe hai, northern blotting. Ke saath. Ke isme bhi hume uh, DNA probes चाहिए होते हैं with known uh, sequences. तो इसमें जिन genes का sequence हमने मालूम करना होता है या जिनकी detection करनी होती है कि कौन सी gene जो हैं वो किसी tissue के अंदर express कर रही हैं तो उन gene के हमें sequences known होने चाहिए. So so that the known sequences of the genes or the number of genes they can be immobilized on the solar surfaces. So here, nowadays we prefer to immobilize the genes or the strands of genes that may range from a few dozens to a few hundred nucleotides in length. So such gene fragments, they are immobilized on the solar surfaces with the help of robotic devices. So that very minute quantity of DNA, it is being immobilized on the surface, maybe in nanoliter uh, quantity. And after immobilization, uh, then the DNA that is extracted from the single cell or in other cases uh, from the tissue, uh, it is extracted and then uh, this messenger RNA, it can be uh, fluorescently labeled uh, by using different type of reagents. So here the radioactive probes can be used or uh, uh, we can use some fluorescent dyes or fluorophore for the labeling. So here, uh, probe may be uh, labeled. So uh, in this case, the DNA or messenger RNA that we have extracted, it can be used as a probe. And this labeled probe from the sample or the messenger RNA that have been expressed in the tissue, it can be used as a probe for the hybridization with the known gene on the glass slide. Uh, so that when hybridization is there, uh, it will result in the emission of light of particular color and wavelength. So when hybridization is strong between the immobilized DNA and the probe, that is the target DNA from the sample, then this emission, it can be detected in the form of signaling and uh, hybridization on the glass slide will indicate that uh, the genes, they are present in the sample. So, in uh, the other we can say that if the hybridization is done sample ke messenger RNA, which we have used as a probe use kiya hai, with the known sequence on the solar surfaces, which we have immobilized. So, this means that the gene jo hai, uh, what tissue can the express kar rahi hai. So in this case, where we have immobilized the DNA, such glass lights, they may be uh, given different names like uh, the DNA chip, biochip, 
uh, or other naming have also been uh, used. Now, what is the basic protocol that we can explain diagrammatically uh, by uh, for the explanation of uh, DNA microarrays? So, here is the comparison of two population of messenger RNA that have been extracted from the single cell and the later stages of development of the frog. So, we can expect that messenger RNA population, they can express differentially in these two uh, tissue types. So, messenger RNA have been extracted and then by using reverse transcriptase, they have been converted into cDNA. And one population of messenger RNA, it was labeled with green fluorophore and other it is with red fluorophore. And in the next stage, after converting into cDNA, they are then immobilized on the solid surfaces, like here. For example, here, different spots or circles on the glass lights, they belong to different set of genes that have been immobilized. And when we will uh, hybridize our sample in the form of messenger RNA from two cell tissue, tissue types or single cell, then hybridization will result in the emission of particular color. For example, if messenger RNA it is from single cell, then the green uh, spots, they will be visible on the glass light here. And uh, otherwise, pink or red spots will be visible in case uh, if the messenger RNA has been hybridized from other developmental or later developmental stages here in the form of pink or red spots. And the yellow spots indicate the genes that express at uh, both cellular organization, that is at single cell stage and at later stages of development. So here we can know the expression of different genes at single cell stage or at multicellular stage. Now this diagram, it indicates the expression of 6200 genes from yeast that have been exposed to different uh, culture conditions. That is normal culture conditions, the spots that are indicated as green one and the genes that have been expressed at later stages of sporulation, they are indicated in the form of uh, red spots and yellow spots, they belong to genes that express constantly at the cellular or even at the sporulation stage. So in this way, in the yeast genome, we can detect different genes that are expressing in the normal cell cycle or at the later stages of sporulation.